Okay, Lavernava, Zach Cox at Gillette Stadium, where the Patriots just beat the Texans to advance to the AFC Championship game. And Zach, was this really the real breakout of Deion Lewis? He became the first player in NFL history to have a receiving touchdown, rushing touchdown, and a touchdown on a kickoff return in a single playoff game. Huge game for him. It was absolutely. I think what most Patriots fans coming out of this game are going to really be harping on is it's all the struggles they had in the first half elsewhere, elsewhere in the game. But this was by far Deion Lewis's best game of his career. As you said, he's the first player in, in NFL history to have all three of those touchdowns in a playoff game. And it just shows the versatility that he brings to this offense. I mean, he's really, I think he showed to, to the nation this, uh, in this game, who might, might not have been watching him all season since he's been returning, that he basically is the Tyree Kill of the Patriots. He's a guy that can hurt you in all facets of the game. And he showed that tonight. I mean, 98-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. First, first player in Patriots history to have a, a kickoff return for a touchdown in a playoff game. That's it's impressive. And with the way that Tom Brady really wasn't on top of his game tonight, the Garrett Blunt was kind of kind of silent. Most of the wide receivers, I saw Julian Edelman, didn't have much of an impact. It was it was huge for them tonight. Yeah, Lewis definitely picked up a lot of the slack where the Patriots were elsewhere going wrong. And as you said, LeGarrette Blunt pretty quiet in this game. So how much of a role do you expect Lewis to have now heading into the AFC Championship game? Uh, a similar, if not uh, if not even bigger. I mean, this is this just goes to show why Patriots fans and the team were so high on Deion Lewis last year and how devastating that injury really was for the team going into the playoffs. Not having him just takes away so many dimensions of this offense. And when you have him in there, he's, he's a guy, as you saw, he can run up the middle, he can run deep down the sideline, he can really do everything for this offense and it just it opens up so many more possibilities for Tom Brady and the team. Really have that pep back in his step too that yeah. I feel like in the eye test hasn't really had until until tonight. In, in the last couple of weeks I think he's been I think it was the the first three or four games when he returned from uh, from that that knee surgery. They definitely tried to limit him a little bit. They re, they only gave him five or six carries a game, maybe maybe ten touches overall. But the last three weeks of the regular season, he got really ramped up. Uh, Legarrette Blunt was the only player who touched the ball more often than him last three weeks of the regular season. And then, as we were saying today, is today was his was his breakout and, and game on national TV. Now everybody's really gonna everybody's gonna know what. The, uh, the Patriots have in Deion Lewis. And even though the Texans aren't the strongest team all around, to say the least, they do have a strong defense. Yeah. So his performance was against a legit defense. So good signs. Make sure to keep it on Nesson.com throughout the week for all your Patriots news.